This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 12, and verse 9. My inheritance is unto me as a speckled bird. The birds round about her, about are against her. Come ye, assemble all the beasts of the field. Come to devour. First and foremost, as always, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory that is due to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Waharakah Kodash, Barakatham. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well, who taught me this truth, and who most definitely labor in this word. I also want to give a sincere peace, blessings, and salutations to all you Akim across the four corners of the globe that are out here pushing this gospel, which is the good news in our truthfulness and sincerity. You so-called Negroes, you so-called Latinos, slash Hispanics, you so-called Native Americans, slash Seminole Indians. As well as I want to give peace and blessings to the Akwaf, which are the sisters that believe upon the name of the Lord Yahweh in the name of his son Yahweh Shai. As well as I want to give peace and blessings to the children that believe upon the name of the Lord Yahweh in the name of his son Yahweh Shai. Okay, so the reason why I started with uh, this Jeremiah chapter 12 verse 9 is because Israelites, we have been scattered across the four corners of the globe. That's why you have Israelites that don't look like the so-called typical Negro, Latino, and Native American, but they go back to the seed of a so-called Negro, a so-called Latino, a so-called Native American, or a Seminole Indian. So therefore, they are still Israelites, all right? So going back into Jeremiah chapter 12, verse 9, my heritage is unto me as a speckled bird. The Israelites are the Lord's heritage. They are the Lord's uh they're going to get his inheritance and they are his heritage. Speckle is a variation of different colors. All right. The birds round about are against her. All right. This is representation of these other heathen nations. Okay. That are against us. A hey, Psalms chapter 83 starting at verse one tells us that we have enemies. All right. The Heavenly Father created 18 nations. He chose the nation of Israel. All other 17 nations are heathen nations. So with that, we're just going to grab precepts, all right? And Lord, when this lesson is going to be edifying, this is going to be the book of Tobit, uh, chapter 13 and verse 3, all right? And it reads, Confess him before the Gentiles, Ye is like a ye children of Israel, for he have scattered us among them. That's right, we're scattered amongst all these other uh, nations. That's why you're gonna have Israelites that look like you're gonna literally have Israelites get beamed up right before they get their new bodies, but they're gonna be looking like every other nation on this earth. All right, uh, with that, let's go here to the book of First Corinthians. All right, 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verses uh, 1 and 2. Uh, now concerning spiritual gifts, brethren, I would not have you ignorant. Ye know that ye were Gentiles, carried away onto these dumb idols, even as ye were led. All right, so yeah, you have the natural Gentiles, but then you have those uh, Israelites that didn't know that they were Israelites, so they were considered uh, Gentiles too, all right? But it says you were carried away onto these dumb idols as you were led, hey, led off into these different captivities, all right? Having to worship these other gods, all right? These other powers, all right? So with that, let's go here um, to the book of James. Um, let me see here. James chapter one and verse one. And it reads, James, a servant of the Most High Yahweh and of the Lord Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, to the twelve tribes which are scattered abroad, greetings. That's right. The twelve tribes got scattered abroad. Hey, but in this time, the Lord is, has awakened them. All right. And he's bringing them back to their memory of who, who we truly are. All right. And the Lord is going to gather his elect. All right. From each of the twelve tribes. All right, it tells us that in the book of Revelation, all right, and they're going to uh, be delivered, okay? So with that, let's go here to the uh, book 
of St. Luke. All right, let me see here. St. Luke chapter 21, and we're going to grab uh, verses 24. All right, and it reads, And they fell, Selachia, and they shall fall by the edge of the sword, and shall be led away captive into all nations. And Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles until the times of the Gentiles be fulfilled. All right. And this began during the siege of 70 AD. All right. It says trodden down of the Gentiles. Those are the heathens. All right. Uh, it says until the time of the Gentiles be fulfilled. All right. And that's until the time that the kingdoms of the heathens have been taken down. All right. Which our Lord, our King and our Savior, Yahweh Shai, is surely on his way to do. So, you know what? This was a, a quick hit. Uh, concerning us Israelites being uh, scattered abroad. So with that, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory that is due to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Wahabra, Kakodash, Barakatam. Once again, I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who do well, who taught me this truth, and who most definitely labor in this word. And once again, I want to give a sincere peace, blessing, and salutations to all you I can across the four corners of the globe that are here pushing this gospel, which is the good news and all truthfulness and sincerity. So with that, I want to say a barber ball and shalom.